Hi, everybody. As president and as your commander in chief. Tuesday morning, and more than 800,000 federal government employees have been told to stay at home. Unfortunately, Congress has not fulfilled its responsibility. It's failed to pass a budget. And as a result, much of our government must now shut down until Congress funds it again. The U.S. was forced to close non-essential services after a late-night political battle on Capitol Hill failed to break the deadlock over the federal budget. But what does that mean for security and military personnel? Those of you in uniform will remain on your normal duty status. The threats to our national security have not changed, and we need you to be ready for any contingency. Congress has passed, and I'm signing into law, legislation to make sure you get your paychecks on time. The shutdown's also hitting normal Americans like these tourists at Gettysburg National Park. When you plan a vacation for six to nine to 12 months and you come uh, to the location that you want to visit and uh, you can't visit it, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's upsetting. I mean, this is look how many people died for this cause, you know, and for them to shut it down and can't come together at all it, to, to solve it, it's kind of bad. Despite passing nearly four years ago, the Affordable Health Care Act, or Obamacare, was once again the source of contention. A Republican group in the House of Representatives tried more than once to remove the law from the budget, only for their efforts to be rebuffed by the Democrat-controlled Senate. House Republicans offered to talk it out. Uh, the House has uh, made its position uh, known very clearly. But Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said Democrats couldn't negotiate with a gun to their heads. Agencies of government are in the process of closing down. It now appears that the House is not going to do anything to keep the government from shutting down. When it became clear an agreement wasn't going to be reached, a despondent minority House leader, Nancy Pelosi, spoke to the press. I'd like to say good evening, but it isn't a very good one. Uh, as we gather here, right near Statuary Hall, I'm reminded that President Washington when he was leaving office, cautioned against political parties that were at war with their own government. And here we are tonight. God bless you and your families, and God bless the United States of America. Obamacare could define President Obama's legacy. It's due to come into full effect next year, helping people who have never been able to afford health insurance afford it for the first time. But for a number of different reasons, including tax issues, not everyone supports it. Political wrangling between Democrats and Republicans, therefore, looks set to continue.